Mwalimu ya Amerika mwenye na mshauri katika ofisi ya rais wanapojiunga nasi karibu ni sana ili tuweze kuingia katika nafasi yetu
Ofisi ya Rais wa tatu Asante sana dada Justin. Shukran kwa kazi nzuri unayofanya. Asante na hongera. Thank you so much for You may take your seat. Asante. Wafuatao Cecilia Wanjiko Mwangi, Zakare Onyonte. Alikuwa katika ofisi ya masuala ya siasa ukipenda political affairs office. Ofisi ya masuala ya siasa dada yetu Asante uh, sana Cecilia. Nafuata Zakari. Alikuwa katika masuala ya maintenance. Asante uh, sana. Thank you so much. Bwana Zakari Onyonte kitengo cha maintenance. Anafuata Patrick Ngoge. Patrick Ngoge. Alikuwa bado katika masuala ya maintenance. Makofi kwa ke ndugu yetu Patrick Asante 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 sana Thank you Thank you so much Ndome madam kone kweza kiketi Thank you madam Kenneth Kimani Titus Mutueli Patrick Maina And Paul Mwilu Nitamuwa kweshi makatibu wetu Madam Kimani Alikuwa baru katika kitengo cha maintenance Asante Thank you. Thank you, Bwana Kimani. Titus Mutweli. Bado maintainers. Asante sana Titus. Patricia Maina. Maintainers. Hi. That's up. Maintainers Patricia Maina. Asante sana ongela kwa kazi nzuri. Umetenda maku Paul Mwilu Maintenance Hata <laughs> wakakuta nda wakita maintenance Hata mkipia jina ingine I will call them maintenance Paul Mwilu Ongera sana Kazi nzuri angalia Angalia kamera upanda ule saa Asante Asante sana Thank you so much Mpiesi Nitaomba kwa heshima kuni mwalike waziri wetu Angalao awatunuku wa chache Akabiliwe barua yake au chitichaki cha ubora wa kazi Tuko kwa waziri wetu Asante Kongezi kwa ke buwana Clement Asante sana Thank you so much Asante kongezi Atakotu na Samuel Grotich Maintainers Thank you, Samuel Rutich, Hongera kwa kazi nzuri. Makofi jameni, tuwape makofi kwa kazi nzuri ya mbawa mefanya. Hongeri, Omaiko, Asante. Asante, Hongera kwa kazi nzuri. James Mbogo, Maintenance, yes. James Mbogo, Asante sana. Udma ulio toa katika ikulu, inatambulika. Tunasema shukran John Kita. Yon kita na saidiwa na dada yetu ili kuweza kujua yale ninao sema na hongera from maintenance na vile alivyo mungu amembariki na different way na alifanya kazi na sisi tumpongeze kwa makofi jame a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a labda mulipo kuwa munafanya kazi mulifanya kama marafiki without even knowing lakini leo mungu wa metijalia tumeweza kuona furaha yake Tuhumpe shukrani, shukrani Mwambia angalie kule tunampungeza kwa kazi nzuri Asanti, asanti, asanti Asanti sana Kwendo kakali Kwendo kakali To receive your certificate of service Thank you so much Let's appreciate kwendo tafana ni kwa makofi Atakuwa tuna justice Kisha Joseph, Wilson, Kisha Duncan Thank you so much, asanti Atafota Justice Otundo Receive your certificate of service Being recognized for the long service you've served Asante sana Joseph Witi Kazi ambazo walifanya saa zingine zilikuwa zina wiyana na zetu Kwa hivyo kutoka telco Anapokea chetichake cha kazi Tumpongeze ndugu yetu Wilson 
na wa mwisho ni Duncan Kinywa vile vile kutoka Telkom tumpongeze tena bwana Duncan Asante Kindly take your position and give us one short song as we proceed with the next category of our event. Wazee hawa wanapopita wananiambia wamefurahi na wanashukuru. Tuwapigie makofi kwa shukrani zao. Asante. Haya, na wanasema kontrola wanataka kukuambia jambo wakienda. Hiyo nimefikisha. Sasa tuko kwa kindly kwa Nzio Kawaita. Atafuatwa na the chief of staff office of the first lady Miss Constance Gakonyo, Makofi secretary bwana Jomo Geshaga. Atafuta Deputy Chief of Staff, Head of Pastu, Ms. Ruth W. Kagia. Staff Legal Registration, Constitutional Affairs, Bwana G. Moturi. Naibu wa Controller, Bwana George Kariuki. Atafuta the Principal Administrative Secretary, Ms. Pastu, na Ms. Kanze Dena. Makofi, anapokea Bwana Makumi. Anafuata Bwana Kanze Dena. Atafuta Secretary of Administration, Bwana Benson Mugo. Makofi kwa SA. Thank you. Atafuata the private secretary office of the second retired president of Mr. Albert Angare Gituku. Senior director presidential library and museum, Ms. Munira Mohamed Yusuf. Makofi Kwake. Atafuata private secretary office of the first retired vice president, Mr. Jeremy Noel Awiri. HR. Deputy director office of the administrative services. The Chief of Staff, Executive Officer of the President, Bananzio Kawaita. These are letters for all of us who will receive them later. The Senior Advisor, SME, Madam Anne Mutahi, sorry. To be followed by the Deputy CEO, S. Pasu, Madam Ruth Kagia, on behalf of the staffs. Deputy Chief of Staff, Legal Affairs, G. Uh, the Secretary PSU, Madam Kanze. <laughs> Deputy Controller, George Kariuki. Uh, De uh, Director of Political Affairs, Dan Mongi. Uh, Mr. Makomi. The Office of the Second Retired Vice, Jeremy. The Secretary Admin, Mr. Mogo. Thank you so much. On behalf of the protocol team, That is our itifaki team yetu ya itifaki. Wanapo pokea barua za utenda kazi. Head of uh, Presidential Library, Madam Munira. HR will speak on behalf of uh, hospitality, Susan Wamaitha, uh, Flora Piwas. Chief Engineer Mechanic, that is Supply and Chain Management, Madam Lea. ICT, Madam Irene. Hongera. Chief Economist, Madam Doris. Thank you so much. Deputy Accountant General, Mr. Thiongo. Bona Waiganjo, our chief uh, CFO. Thank you so much for facilitating us. Admin, Director Administration Bona Moraya. Hospitality, Francisca. Assistant Director, Francisca. To be followed by Assistant Director Library, Mr. Wairago Patrick. Wairago, yeah, he's coming. He's still young, he can run. He's only 18. Hospitality, Mr. Ndurango. Thank you. 
Principal Garden Management, Madam Stella. Head of Telephone Exchange, Mr. Ki Kitika. Yes, he's coming. Maintenance, Mr. Kagengo. Maintenance, yes, coming. Then caretakers to follow. So state lodger, Sagana. That is Mr. Kimani. Kisi. Kisi to follow, Mukwana. To be followed by Kisumu. Mr. Ndobi. Yes. Followed by Eldoret. Mr. Chilaga. Thank you, Eldoret. Now that this is a uh, Kisumu. Thank you, Kisumu. Followed by Eldoret. Kakamega, Gladys. To be followed by Nakuru. Mr. Mburu. Mombasa, Mr. Chumo. Then last but not least, uh, the HR, Mr. Omoya. First lady, as they receive the excellence certificate. The second one, the supply chain management. The performance indicator is access to government procurement opportunities. Number three, Mr. Wamoya. Excellent performance. Let's appreciate our HR. Thank you. Thank you so much for the good job, Asante. Number four, uh, performance indicator most improved. On behalf of that department, she will get a certificate and a trophy. Chief Economist kindly come forward and also receive the Certificate of Appreciation for the overall coordination. Let us appreciate uh, our coordinator for that work well done, Asante Sana. guest of honor and the peers, uh, thank you very much for this uh, great honor that you have bestowed on, uh, on, on State House and, uh, and therefore thank you very much all the staff and uh, our guest of honor, we, we will dedicate, we will dedicate, uh, we will dedicate uh, uh, this great uh, certificate to His Excellency and the First Lady for the guidance and the support they have always given us in performance of our duty. <laughs> Each one of us is important as the other. I may be the State House controller, but I have nothing, I have not the least knowledge about maintenance. I don't have the least knowledge about transport. If you open the bonnet of the, of the vehicle, I may not show you where which part is where, to be honest. If you, if you give me Cassie's team, I don't know which side to face the camera if I'm given, whether they side to look at the lens. I don't know. So 
If any of you is not there, we cannot function. Each one of you, and this is what I always remind my team, uh, uh, Madam CS, is that we all matter on equal, on equal measure. We are like a cog. If one of the uh, uh, part of the cog is not working, then the whole machine is, is not there. So your presence matter. No matter what your position is, you matter as much as anybody else. You matter as much as, as Connie, you matter as much as, uh, as Bogua, you matter as much as uh, Casadena, you matter as much as anybody, anybody else. We can never do without you. And that is the secret of our team. As we give thanks and glory to the Almighty God for His mercies, we would like to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency, the President, and the entire First Family for giving us the privilege and guidance to work in this honorable station. We undertake to serve with utmost loyalty, honesty, and dedication. Thank you, and God bless you all, and God bless Kenya. Let me start by really saying I'm very humbled to be here this afternoon to celebrate with you the position of number two in the results of performance contracting uh, the year 2019-2020. First, a state out controller, I'm very thankful that uh, you invited me to come and uh, witness and share with you this afternoon because my journey with you started a long, long time ago and the year around 2005 when you are commandant uh, security of government building and when I was at uh, Kenya School of Government as a director. So you can see uh, some of us here, much as those who are saying they have retired, we have been on this journey of public service for a long time. And I'm happy to have been associated with the controller, Kenudia Bogwa, and more so, very many of my colleagues here, they are not just colleagues, they are friends. They're, most of you have interacted with you at one time or the other because the Ministry of Public Service works very closely with the State House. Therefore, I'm very happy and I really want to bring my heartfelt congratulations for attaining position of number two in performance contracting, especially when for a few years uh, the public service had stopped ranking or really focusing on performance contracting. But I think when we came back uh, after our ITA, Zioka, and kind of nurtured the baby of performance contracting and finally placed it on our hands, and in the process there was a lot of reforms towards digitization, we are happy to report now they have been way forward where performance contracting as a tool of holding uh, public servants or public service institution accountable, uh, I think is now of age and that's why we are celebrating. So as my peers said, it was a very objective process where whoever became number one Ministry of Treasury and Planning, then you became number two as State House and number three was Ministry of East Africa uh, Community. And in that order, for me, we are very, very happy that government departments now have a proper feedback which they can use to improve the performance because performance contracting in the first place, you are very clear with the budget you have, little as it might be, or the much it might be, you are saying we are going to deliver these targets. It's freely agreed. Therefore, when you assess yourself and see you're in the right path, when you're externally and objectively assessed and you become number two, you should be really celebrating in your heart. Can you give yourself a clap? <laughs> this is a day to celebrate, and I may not go through the whole speech, but I just want to uh, flag out uh, three key messages. One, being the the, the department in the State House. And also for me, remembering the role of His Excellency the President. I think you have just done the country proud 
for really becoming number two, because this is where the president resides. And if his the, the, the ministry, the department that works around him uh, does well, that just goes to say how well his leadership is recognized. And I think what I want to add is excellent the president, we all know how he has been taken as a regional leader, global leader in many areas just because as a department like yours is supporting his cause. If you gave him sleepless night in the state house, because I know there you work a day and night, there are no public holidays, there are no weekends, but you have delivered to support his excellency the president and the first family to have peace and to carry that leadership burden. So that's why I was very keen to come because I felt you have lifted a lot of load of how public service should support its excellent the president because of your own performance. Therefore, looking at today when you are celebrating uh, your performance and recognizing this is a tool to hold us accountable, I'm reminded the team spirit with the controller as also mentioned, that it is through that team spirit and a good leader knows when to call the two members to the table and consult, see where they need to improve, what they need to start doing differently, and what they need to change in order to achieve their higher goals. So I, I am very happy that uh, all of you have been able to be put together and recognize how important it is for each one of you to support the whole uh, journey of your mission and vision, and more so contribute. I think all, we all know each ministry contributes to one's vision 2030, and vision 2030 as a blueprint also connects us with sustainable development goals where we want everybody's quality of life improved without leaving anyone behind. Therefore, that is sent me also to message number three, which is the critical role public service plays in the government. And we remember that there is no government that can perform if the public service is not performing. More so, the support for each department, or what we call ministry, department, and agencies, each one of them pulls or contributes towards the realization of, of, of the of the government manifesto. Therefore, it is very important to have this tool of performance contracting so that you have clarity of your role, you have clarity of your target, and when each one of us pulls in the right direction, then we achieve as a team. And I think it's for that reason that we are here to support one another and pull with that strength together and be able to recognize that it's only when we work together we can be able to proceed. For those who are retiring, as my fourth message, I think retirement is just another phase, as has been said, and it is a state of mind. And it's a state of what you tell yourself. If we tell ourselves we are tired and we are old, that happens. But if you say, this is a new opportunity for me to make a contribution with the knowledge that I've acquired in the public service, for sure, then you live a more meaningful life and a more happy one. And uh, it's my view that those who are retiring and going to the next phase, you're not going to try something absolutely new to yourself. Because we know from literature, if you have never reared chicken and you retire and start to rear chicken, you refine how off you are. If you have never had a shop, and all of a sudden you think your retirement pension should go to a shop, and you have not gone through any training, you can also easily fail. What do we know? We know if you continue in line of your passion, in line of your skills, then you are most likely going to succeed. So my, my message to you is, you have a great future, and as we are told in the Bible, you may not know what the future holds, but you know who holds the future. So with God in your mind and doing everything around to, with your integrity 
and uh, forgiving anything that we ever did to you in the public service or even the people you have associated with and you move to the new face with a clean, lighter heart, I'm sure we we'll all be looking forward to meet one another even when we are retired because we'll be living a full, meaningful life. And you know, life is full of surprises because when we are talking about retirement and you hear a banker, the first thing that comes to your mind, budgeting and how to spend retirement uh, money. But I want to give you a surprise that today I do not want to talk about budgeting, but I just want to give a reflection because of our day today. And we are going to, I'm going to give a reflection about four things. Mambo manne. Ndugu yangu Mike, amenipatia muda wa sekunde kama mia, mia sita hivi, nimejiongeza. Na tatumia dakika hizo ama sekunde hizo kuweza kutoa that reflection about four things. The first thing that I want all of us to think about. Today we met here because God woke us up in the morning. And I want just to reflect to you, my brothers and sisters, that it is important for each one of us to have a spirit of appreciation, a spirit of thanksgiving, a spirit of understanding that we are alive today, not because of our power, not because of our ability, but because of our God. Hello? Sometimes, sometimes we may think that this morning we were woken up by an alarm. Let me tell you, it was not your alarm. Some of us, maybe where you live, you are woken up by the loud matatu that hoots at four. <laughs> that is not what woke you up. But what woke you up today is the voice of God. And he woke you up and gave you this wonderful day, this wonderful Friday, because he had a special mission for you. And that special mission, one of their missions is the lunch that you've just had. Hello? Your lunch is because of God. There's somebody who woke up today and decided, planned the day that this is what I'm going to do. But as we speak now, the guy is taking water, not mineral, but saline water through a pipe. So I want to have a spirit of thanksgiving. I want to invite each one of you, ladies and gentlemen, please let us embrace the spirit of appreciation to our God every other time. The word of God tells us in the book, of Job. You all understand the story of Job. The book of Job, chapter number 38 and verse 12. Job was told, command your day. Command your day. Talk to your day. Every single morning when you wake up, tell the day. Today, God has woken me up. You day, I know there could be issues. I know there could be embarrassment. I know there could be plans. But I command you this day that let me walk in the newness of this day. Let me walk in the victory of this day. And let me walk in the joy of this day. Can I hear an amen to anyone interested? Hello? Tuko pamoja? That is the first thing that I want us to understand. The spirit of appreciation, of commanding our very, very day. The second thing, the second thing that I want us to think about, to reflect about today, is about old age. Old age. We've been told today we are having our retirees. Kuna wale ambao wana staffu. Wamekwisha kutenda kazi yao nzuri. Na sasa mefika wakati ambapo, wanastaafu na wanaondoka na wanaenda katika safu nyingine ya maisha yao. Old age is a blessing from God. Old age is a blessing from God. Sikiliza vile ambavyo. Eh, and you know, and, and here I'm talking about the young people. When I talk about young, I'm talking about anybody else who is not retiring. Right? Please mark my word. There is a lot of wisdom in old age. That's why I'm saying it's a blessing from God. Allow me to give you this story of some wisdom. You know, there was this uh, mama, uh, the age of uh, our principal guest, Professor Kobia. Na huyu mama, alitoka kaenda shuleni, mahali ambapo eh, kijana wake, uh, ama msichana wake alikuwa na, anasomea. Na alipo fika pale, uh, unajua pale kwenye hostels, siku hizi mahali ambapo wanaishi, Alipo kuja kumsalimia, kamsalimia mama, vizuri sana. Alafu kuna kijana ambaye nuarika, akaja, pia kasalimia mama na wenzake. Lakini vile ambavyo, unajua, unapo 
koma kimawazo na kimiaka hekima inaongezeka sasa yule mama akaangalia jinsi ambavyo hawa wanafunzi wawili wanaangaliana naona kuna mambo zaidi ya sharing assignments na akamwambia mama anamwangalia tu unajua kina mama vile ambavyo wanaangalia and they communicate and tell you what mama eh, kijana eh, ama huyu msichana akamwambia eh, mam sio vile unafikiria huyu tunasoma tu pamoja rumu yake ni kule mimi niko kule sio vile unafikiria please mam please mam come on mam haya mama hakusema vile anafikiria na sijui kwa nini msichana akataka sana kujua vile mama anafikiria basi mama naye kwa sababu ya ujasiri wake na hekima ya miaka akaondoka e, wakawa wamekaa wamekula chakula baada ya muda kidogo vijana wametoka nje kwenda kushare notes you know vijana unaona mama anatuchekeaje anatuangaliaje unaona kama ana suspect kitu so by the time they were coming back e, akauliza okay na huyu jamaa ana umesema anakaa wapi room yake ndio yule so what the mom did mama akachukua e, akaenda akaona ile nyumba room ambayo kijana anakaa na akaenda zake baada ya muda baada ya siku chache kuna sahani moja ilikosekana kwa nyumba ya msichana ikakosekana pale na huyu anaambia mwenzake tangu yuwa mama aje hii sahani imemiss hii sahani imemiss i'm not suspecting your mom but a a hii sahani imekosekana so msichana akaamua kumpigia mama yake simu akamwambia mom Eh, not that eh, nina kususpect lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba tangu uje kuna utensils moja kuna sahani moja ambayo uh, kidogo hatuioni unajua inaweza kweli anguka kwa kibeti mam eh? si ati si ati maybe ilivunjika ukaitupa mam unajua so sio vile ambavyo unafikiria please mam ah mama akachukua simu akamwambia asante sana hata mimi sio vile ambavyo unafikiria vile ambavyo uliniambia unakaa kule na kule na mimi pia usinifikirie vibaya kama huyo msichana na huyo na huyo jamaa angekuwa pia analala kwa rumi yake angegundua kwamba hiyo sahani nilikuwa nimeiweka kwa pilo yake God is good The mother took the plate akaficha kwa pilo kwa sababu ali suspect ah jamaa wameoana hapa The wisdom of the aged age 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 old age is a gift from god our esteemed retirees we want to thank god for you we want to thank god for the energy he gave you uh, uh, to serve this country to serve this institution to serve state house hiyo nguvu tunashukuru mungu pamoja nanyi na ndio kwa sababu tumekuja tunakula tukifurahia na hata ambapo wakati ambapo waimbaji wanaimba wanasema kazi imefanyika nyinyi pia mlianzisha hiyo miaka yote tunashukuru mungu kwa hivyo hata wewe ambaye bado haujafika umri wa kuweza kustaafu old age is from god god is good listen to what the word of god talks about old age it says in isaiah chapter 46 and verse number 4 And I will still be carrying you when you are very old even when your hair turns gray bado nitakubeba I will carry you and take you safe our esteemed retirees our god is still with you and he will carry you and will enable you to go on and on by the way mume retire kutoka kwa kupata maagizo mume retire kutoka kupata memo mume retire from being deployed and redeployed and reassigned that is what you have resigned but you've just gone to start a new life enjoy the sun in 2018 we sat with every single cabinet secretary face to face and defined the performance parameters and the, the reasoning for this was very simple presidents come and go political administrations are transient but the public service remains the fulcrum for running this country it is the machine that keeps this project Kenya moving in the right direction and that public service is not an abstract concept it is you people sitting in this room who make the the wheels of government turn but when you look at it from the point of view of a politician a politician comes into government and immediately you start what is called top of descent when you're in an aeroplane and you get to within sight of the airport the only thing the only direction you go is down so we started our top of descent immediately the president commenced his second term because we knew in 
will be coming to a moment where we will be assessed by the public for what we did and for what we did not do. For you to turn a political manifesto into actionable activities, you require a mechanism. That mechanism is embedded almost critically within the performance contracting framework. It is what transforms promises into action. Delivery is not done by robots, it's done by people. So this process of holding individuals accountable for the work that they do, for two reasons, to recognize them and reward them, or to enforce consequence management and do what needs to be done to remove poor performers. But you cannot do so without a fair and just process. I'm delighted to be in front of you today because we are celebrating our performance where I happen to be the coordinator of the performance contracting. Today I'm feeling proud. For sure I'm just feeling proud like a peacock. <laughs> if I had that tail, eh, I would just show it off because of the good work that we have done as set out staff. So let me pick from where Mr. Makumi left on the issues of retirees and give, um, we call it a right of reply. Uh, Mr. Makumi, the State Department is not asleep. We are thinking very hard about retirees. And we have three specific programs. One, we have the pre-retirement training which we do at the Kenya School of Government, and which I think I will in invite you as a resource person. The second program is what we are putting in place now. We are calling it the Emeritus Strategy. The Emeritus Strategy is a recognition of public servants who have distinguished themselves. We are going to put them in a database, and the government will call upon them on a need basis to come and give their experiences and train young people who are entering the service. As you know, the service is quite dynamic. And then the matter you addressed yourself, the post-retirement medical scheme. That is already underway. We developed one, took it to the team of PSs uh, along the line of um, Organization of Government is Excellency Putin. The PSs put their input and advised the department that we need to do a Dara actuarial study so that we can know exactly what you will contribute so that it is fair and objective. And I think two weeks ago we put an expression of interest in the papers for that actuarial study. So that is also underway. So the government wants you to retire in dignity, just as you entered the service in dignity. And that falls, falls on me and Madam Kobia, and we will do what we can do. Now, <laughs> coming to the PC and coming to celebrate State House, I am very, very happy, and thank you for the music. Uh, it has really energized us. The State House uh, fraternity got number two on account of three uh, things they did. One, they asked for help. They were not shy. They asked to be trained on the performance contracting system. That was number one. Number two, they put a dedicated team in place. And number three, they had very good leadership from the controller. As you know, everything starts from the leadership. So those three points made them do a really, really wonderful job. So State House, uh, thank you very much. We will work together to deliver on the President's um, vision of making the public service fit for purpose, efficient, effective, ran on the principles and values of the public service as contained in Chapter two, uh, 232 and um, 
chapter 6. And I would encourage you to just remember what our president has said on the kind of public service he wants to leave behind. A public service that is closer and closer to the citizens. And the reforms we are doing in performance contracting, we are replicating the same in the Huduma uh, program. Thank you very much. I think I want to stop there. God bless you. And I wish you all the best, the retirees and the people who are left behind as you embark on this year's evaluation. Asante Nisana. <laughs>
um, SME started when people retired and they use their experience, what they've learned, because it's yours. Whatever it is that you have learned during the years that you have been there belongs to you and it is for you to be able to use it and employ it effectively. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you.